Okay, so the first thing we want to look at is our platform. Our platform is our arms. Okay, first thing is I want our thumbs parallel. Thumbs are parallel. Wrists are together. Thumbs are parallel. Wrists are together. The next thing I want is a wide V. A wide V. The V is the shape of our arms. That's a narrow V. You see how narrow the V is? Narrow V. See the narrow V? Versus a wide V. Look how wide it is. Wide V. Okay, notice the wide V. Why do I want a wide V? Flatter and it's a bigger surface area. Okay. Now, uh, let's go like this. So what I want you to do is just take your fingers like this. Just your fingers. Notice I'm not like this, I'm like that. Okay. okay, and then make your thumbs parallel. Arms straight. Okay. Fingers, yes. Do it my way. If you do it some other way, I want you to do it my way for today. You're not doing it my way. Look at your fingers. You're making a fist. Okay, now grab. Okay, very good. Let's see, show me your hands. Everyone, show me your hands. Show me your hands. Gosh. Listen. Okay, very good. Now stop, hold your hands. Okay, now I just want you to undo the top hand and leave that. Okay, undo the top hand and leave it. Your hands are not right. Your hands are not right. Fix your hands. Now, do what? That's not what I did. Help him. Help him fix it. Thank you. Okay, now let's look here, guys. I want these fingers tight. So everyone, show me your fingers. Tight, tight, tight. No, like that. Tight. I want the thumb straight and parallel. Very, very good. Very good hands. That's exactly what I want. Okay? Like that. Turn the thumb and the thumb is straight and parallel. Fingers tight. No, your arm is not straight. Arm is straight. Thumb is straight. Fingers tight. Very good. Arm straight like that. Thumbs parallel. Jaden, smile, buddy. You better start talking to me, man. Come on. He doesn't talk at all. That's not true. How do you guys know? I've, I've met him, he spoke to me, so don't say that stuff. Don't pigeonhole him. Okay, let's go. Pigeonhole. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, notice my wrist is pointing down. Why does my wrist point down? Why does my wrist point down? So my arm stays straight. I want my arm straight. Okay, now I'm going to grab those fingers. Just grab the fingers. Just grab the fingers. Grab the fingers. Grab the fingers. Grab the fingers. You're not doing what I said. Thumbs parallel. Grab the fingers. Okay? Uh, Javier, toss the ball to me. Okay, so I'm just going. So just throw the ball. All that I'm doing is I'm going onto my arms. Questions? Okay, pretty simple stuff, okay? We want our shoulders loose, our back rounded a little bit, and shoulders loose, okay? Questions on that? Okay, next, we want to basically look at our base. Our base is our feet. We always have our right step in front. Which foot is in front? Right. We basically take our left step to our right instep and come across. Okay? And then we put our butt out and our hands on our knees. Okay? Our butt is out like we're sitting on the toilet. Okay? Like you're sitting on a toilet. You guys with me? I don't want your butt or other parts going forward. I want the correct hip hinge where your butt is out. Your shoulders are shrugged, your arms are straight. My feet are facing forward and straight. Okay, let's see it. Your left step needs to get further back. The reason our left step is behind our right step is so that we don't do a negative step. If our feet are parallel, in order to go forward, we have to go back. You guys all know about this? Yes? 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 Okay. So feet parallel. My shoulders are shrugged, wide base. Butt out, hips back. The reason I basically want my hips and butt back is so that I can create space between my platform and my base. Notice I've got space. If I bring my legs hip forward and I use my quads and not my glutes, basically what happens is I become glute dominant, I mean quad dominant, which is not good. Plus, I cannot make adjustments. That ball's coming, look, there's no space. Space, you guys see the difference? See how there's space to make adjustments? You guys see how there's space? Space? 
uh, go like this, create some space. Okay, butt out, feet wider apart. Spread your feet, spread out a little bit, feet wider. Feet wider, face your feet forward. Your feet are in a straight line facing me. They're facing forward. Okay, right foot in front of left. Feet wider, much wider. Let's see it, yes, there. Okay, questions. Now the next thing is your starting position. We always start like this. If you've got pants, grab them, okay? Hold them like this. What this does is it forces your shoulders to shrug, plus it's easier to stand like this. The worst is I see these girls going like this. Why don't I want to do that, or why don't I want to wait like this? I get tired. Okay, I don't want to get tired, so I want to conserve energy. So hold the pants, shrug the shoulders, arms straight. Grab your pants. There you go. Okay, right in step, left into your right in step. Next, I want to go, arms are straight and low. Arms are? Straight and low. Okay, so my arms go from here to here. Arms go from here to here. Do it. Now, why do I start my arms low? Because I don't want to do a double move. Less is more. more. If I have to go, is that better or is this better? Second one's better because I don't have to do as much. Javier, toss me the ball. Arms low. Easy versus... You guys see all the extra movement. You guys understand? You don't have time on a fast serve to do all this extra stuff. Arms low. Okay, question. Yes? If you're down here, wouldn't it be hard to get a ball with your hands? Okay, I want you guys to all be hand bump setting initially. If we're hand setting, we know we're hand setting, then we step up and we wait. You guys understand? And then the entire line steps up. We're all setting, hand setting. We're hand setting. You with me? Or we're all bump setting. But you don't wait there in between. You guys understand? Also, the movement on the national team plus all the rest is for everyone to bump set most balls. You guys know that? In college, they don't want you hand setting too much. They don't like the trajectory of the handset because most people, when they handset, they push the ball straight. The trajectory on a bump set tends to be better. Does that make sense? Yes. If you're going to handset, hey, we are handsetting. Step up. You ready? Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, so, platform base, putting it all together, okay? Now, passing is just rebounding. So, passing is just rebounding. You control three things when you rebound the ball. What are the three things you control? The speed. Speed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, good job. Fix his arms, please. Don't do that. Don't stand like that. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Um, you control speed or force, number one, correct. What else do you control? Direction. Direction, correct. And the third thing you control? Height or trajectory. So you want to understand those three things. You also want to understand bump passing is different than serve-receive passing. Bump passing, throw me the ball, Javier. I have to create the power versus serve-receive, throw it overhand. No problem. A little harder at my arms. I'm just rebounding the ball. You guys see the difference? Okay. Um, some important verbal cues. Okay, firstly, how many of you guys want to become better pastors instantaneously? I do. I want to become pastor. Great, you can come over here. Okay. So, I can make all of you guys better pastors right away by 20%. Right now, right now. You guys want to be better pastors yeah. right now, 20%? Yes? Yes. Okay. Where do you look on the ball when you pass it? Where do you look? Where do you look? Uh, the bottom. I can't, I can't look at the ball. I can't answer that. I don't know. How do you not know? I just look at the ball. I don't look at a specific place. Okay, I'm going to make you a 20% better passer right now. <laughs> okay, when you pass the volleyball, I want you guys to watch his eyes. Everyone come stand close and let's watch his eyes. Get ready to pass. Okay, watch the top of the ball. Watch the top of the ball. Watch his eyes. Notice how much his eyes had to move down to get track the ball. What happens is when it goes from here, hold your arms. To here, look how much his eyes have to move. And what happens is they lose the ball. So he'll make passing errors. Watch the middle of the ball. 
Watch the bottom of the ball. You guys see the difference? Which one does he move his eyes least? Bottom. bottom. So for tracking, he's automatically going to become a better pass for that. The second reason is, hey, where do we pass the ball? On the bottom. If you're watching the bottom, you're going to pass better. Is that pretty cool? Yeah. You guys excited? Yeah. Okay, so why don't you guys pay me double for today? Okay. Can you take credit card? Okay. <laughs> Questions? Yes? Is that pretty good? Okay, so um, some other stuff. I'm going to quickly go and talk about a few things. Uh, will you stand there and throw that ball to me? Spread out a little bit. Okay, that side of the net. Okay, so some other things that we want to do. And remember, number one, further back. One, we want to face the server. You guys with me? Yes. Face the server. The next thing we want to do is see the line, create the angle. See the line, create the angle. No, no, you don't hold your shoulders, hands crossed. Just hold that ball, rather. Not this, okay? Okay, so the line is the ball of the, of the serve coming over the net. So toss it. Do you guys see that line? The line. And then I create the? Angle. Angle is what's my angle? My platform, okay? So let's see it. See the line? Create the angle. Yes? Yes. Okay. Come in. Um, I don't have a lot of time with you guys, so I'm going to teach you two other things that are very, very critical too. And I'm, I'm sharing a bunch of stuff because I have such limited time. So normally I do this over several days. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yes. But I'm blowing your minds and I'm trying to get you a lot of information. How many of you guys uh, know what the zone is? The zone? The zone. Just don't get me into what is the zone? The, 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 um, like okay. When you're like mentally prepared and... Like okay, do you remember what the zone was like when you're playing re recently? Yeah. Okay, tell me what it was. Describe it. It's like where it's everything's closed off to like myself, and I'm just like too focused on what I'm doing. Now notice the f yeah. You want to answer? When you're like just focus when you're focused on the ball and nothing else. Okay, kind of. Okay. Notice what he did was he did this, and focus. Focus refers to what? Eyes. Eyes. The zone is 80 to 90% of visual sensory mode. If you're in the zone, you're seeing. If you're not in the zone, you're thinking, you're listening, you're hearing. You guys with me? So in order to get in the zone, we have to get into what? Visual, visual sensory mode. Now what's great is there's cheats that allow you to get into the visual sensory mode. Now it's important to understand that you cannot think and see at the same time. You guys with me? Yeah. Like you cannot see and think at the same time. You guys with me? Yeah. yeah. So what we do is we do visual cheats to actually get in the zone and see and only see. Does that make sense? You guys want to learn them quickly? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so stand here. Okay. Face that way. 